Hi hi everyone, welcome to Eden's Secret. Today we are making cashmere cream cupcake soaps. So we're starting off with these moulds that I made myself. They're very very decrepit now, they're split and not very good at all. Um, but we're making some small flowers for the centre so we need some uh, melt and pour soap which is how I make the rose embeds for the top and I'm using some bright gold mica and as suggested by one of my viewers to dissolve the mica just spray some rubbing alcohol in there It really is a beautiful gold that. I think it's my favourite. It's great for melt and pour, but if you're going to use it in cold process, you're probably better off with Aztec gold. Okay, so I'm not um, using the whole of the rose. I'm just pouring this into the centre. because I don't want great big roses sitting on the top of them, just small delicate ones. if you just go over it slightly because you can just cut that little bit off John would start working just as I start making a video. Okay, so they're, they're literally dry in 15 minutes, so you can unmold them. That's the great thing about melt and pour embeds. They dry so fast. Or should I say set so fast. And they unmold beautifully as well. The only thing with melt and pour soap is it does absorb moisture. Um, but you can buy, you can buy sweat free. I like this, um, I know I've said it many, many times before, but I like the crystal clear because it's, it's, uh, harder than most of the others. So I know I said recently about um, soap supplier being out, bought out by uh, the soap kitchen. But someone told me that in actual fact, soap supplier have bought the soap kitchen. Just 
pouring in my olive oil and sunflower oil into the palm coconut and melted cocoa and shea butter okay so just pouring in our lye now if uh, if you like watching this let me know in the comments below I might do a vote on it because the votes seem to work really really well doing it that way then I get a realistic percentage of who likes what and who doesn't so if you like sh me showing this part of making my soaps because it's something I don't usually do I usually just get right into the technique um, let me know and then I can I can definitely add it to all the videos I'm just giving it a good stir uh, we'll get rid of some of the air bubbles if you've created any all right so time to pour the base of the cupcakes And we're using brown oxide today I always put like a heap of teaspoonful of that in um, because I like the depth of color to be strong and we're also putting in some of the Eden secret special blend cashmere cream fragrance And that's a fragrance that I don't give away. I don't let anyone know what it is because I haven't seen anybody else ever use it. Gorgeous, gorgeous smell. I think it's my favourite smell actually. what I've got in this jug it won't fill all of these bases I'll have to uh, make a little bit more to finish them off and then as usual we'll let the bases set first 
just all of the soap for the whole cupcake comes from one batch and by putting the fragrance in separately so I'm only putting the fragrance in this part for the base the rest of the soap will stay in the pot until I'm ready to use it and that's when I'll put the fragrance in but I won't put the fragrance in until these bottoms are set it up enough so that I can pipe on the top so it's not a chocolatey fragrance at all it's more of a lemon cheesecake and the reason I do brown soap is because it does discolour really badly so if you've got a smell that you absolutely love you might as well just make a brown soap Okay, so we've got all our bases are set up now so we're going to pipe a layer of white on there now I got some squeezy bottles and I did type in leak proof but it seems leak proof means it has one of these caps on maybe it's a buy cheap buy twice thing um, so I'm looking for some more expensive ones because these actually leak out of here when you shake them up All the liquid comes out from below the screw top cap. So absolute rubbish um, So I'm still using my little pot at the moment So we're going to add in the titanium dioxide to that popping on my gloves which are getting a little short supply now I need to find some more but the ones I've seen seem quite expensive for what they are I mean, really you shouldn't be paying any more than £7 for a pack of 100 for rubber gloves anything more than that unless it's the nitrile gloves they're expensive um, so in this white layer I don't put any fragrance at all obviously because it discolours terribly I've got a little bit of a rose petal in there I don't know where that come from So we're just going to let that thicken up on its own and then pipe it on top of the cupcake bases. Okay, it's time to pipe that creamy layer. I feel like I should just make a soap, a slice soap with this fragrance and just not put um, any colour in. It'd probably be a little bit ugly but I know that people like it so much that they would probably still buy it. Because not everybody likes the cupcakes and also you know cupcakes used to be my number one seller but I suspected that eventually the slices would become the number one seller and and that's exactly what's happened I think a slice is much more usable than a cupcake but I mean Cupcakes are not difficult to use. I mean, you just get your sponge. You know, I've shown you before. You just get your sponge, you wet it, and then you rub the cupcake on there. 
so it's not difficult uh, which means the soap oil is seeping through because they don't last forever these bags they do last quite a long time though uh, they are really excellent quality and I know they're to clean out but and I've got plastic piping bags I just don't like the wastage of them using them once and then throwing them away I hate that like that soap I made the other day with all those different colours every piping bag I use I just use for a little bit of soap it was the Pandora uh, video uh, there's an information card in the top right hand corner now if you want to watch that video so we're going to do the next layer now which is going to be brown oxide again you can see the soap is getting much much thicker and remember to leave some in your pot for, for your top layer and then you're going to put some fragrance in this layer as well because we're fragrancing all the brown layers now the nearest fragrance I've actually found to this one is um, Nature's Garden Key Lime Pie it's not as beautiful but it is pretty good similarity to this fragrance So the thicker your soap gets, the quicker it's going to set up. And this brown oxide, when you're washing up, you want to get rid of as much of it from your soap equipment as you can. Because it does make a mess in the sink. It's really strange, but when it's in the soap and it's saponified, it doesn't do that at all. So just clean as much off that as you can. So you're going to really need to keep an eye on uh, your soap base now because it is going to set up faster. So as soon as that's ready we're going to pipe it on as the next layer. Right now it's time for the next layer and I'll just tell you that I've just found some um, rubber gloves on nisbet.co.uk uh, in the UK the eight pound per pack so that's quite reasonable I mean I usually pay like 3 99 for mine um, but I don't mind paying like eight pound for a pack so the piping nozzle I'm using is the sweetly does it 8 C S that's 8 Charlie Sierra
And as you can see, I've tried to pipe wide rather than narrow. I think narrow cupcakes look a bit naff, which is something I obviously used to do years ago. But doing that circular motion really wide when you finish piping uh, the cupcake just looks a lot better shape. And now for the last layer, which is some white frosting for the top. Of course, it's not frosting, it's actually, it's soap. Whoops, got an air bubble there. So I was wondering, what is your favourite YouTube channel? I think most of you know that mine is the Tim Tracker, Tim Tracker channel. And he does lots of Disney videos. It just makes me happy to watch them. I feel like I'm there, kind of. There's a massive Disney community out there. But his videos are definitely my favourite. The only thing is now they've had a baby and and obviously I've had my baby. He's all grown up now. He's still my baby but I'm not really interested in the baby videos. Although their baby is so incredibly cute and seems like the happiest baby I've ever seen. But let me know what your favourite YouTube channel is in the comments down below the video. Now it's time to add the roses on the top. So they just simply pop on there. I push them down gently, make sure they're level and in the centre. And as long as your cold process soap pipe and frosting that you've just done is not too stiff, these will easily stick on there and stay there without popping off. But you do need to push them down a little bit. Obviously not too much. Just finishes them off nicely. So let me know if you'd like a sliced soap in this fragrance, in the cashmere cream fragrance. And we'll come up with something sometime with that. I did used to do a slice of soap, but um, I made it brown. Um, and I think at the time, probably the cupcakes sold better, so I discontinued it. I mean, you've got to discontinue things to bring other soap designs in and fragrances maybe you could let me know what it should look like and there we are We'll unmold these tomorrow, so I'll be leaving those in the moulds literally for probably not 24 hours. 
but it's about two in the afternoon now so I'll just unmold them in the morning maybe nine o'clock or ten o'clock in the a.m. and um, before we go any further we need to pop some glitter on there don't we so I'll put a link to biodegradable glitter in the description box below and everything else that you need will be in the description box too Okay, so just unmolding our cupcakes now. And you can see that the cupcake case unmolds perfectly clean. So we're doing a water reduction in with the sodium hydroxide. Uh, it does make a big difference for unmolding. I know I say this sometimes, but I really don't think that soap should ever need to be put in the fridge to unmold. And I'm not saying that I've never done that before. I have in the old days. Because um, I did used to use full water. Um so the soap was always a little bit soft after 24 hours um, but you know I tweaked and tweaked my recipe until I got perfect unmolding every time and um, now I never have to put soap in the fridge or in the freezer I mean I don't even know if it affects it or how it affects it doing that because the soap heats up and cooling it down to saponify I don't know I don't know only some you know someone that knows everything about all the technical details of soap making the science of soap making someone that loves to know all of that kind of thing I'm sure they would know the answer to that far better than me even though I've been soaping for 15 years All right, I hope you like this one. Please subscribe, like and share. And again, in this video, I'll be giving one soap away to a lucky winner who places a comment in the comment section down below. It's open worldwide, so it doesn't matter where you live in the world, you are welcome to enter this giveaway. All right, everyone, I'll see you very, very soon. Bye-bye for now.